Good morning, Naz kids. Coming to you today from my dining room floor, but it's the best place I could have so that I could post our little heart that we're gonna work on here in a few minutes. So today is the fifth Sunday of Lent and our Bible verse focus is on Psalm 118. So Psalm 118 is pretty long, and if you have a Bible, I would encourage you to have a family member read it to you, or my older kids, get it out and read through it. And in this Psalm, it's really focusing on the things that this Psalmist is really thankful for. All of the things that the Lord has given to them. And uh, during this time of Lent, it's really important to kind of use this as a time to focus on God and be thankful for all that he's given us. But even um, aside from Lent, because of the way things are in the world right now, um, it's even more important for us to be focusing on the things that we're thankful for. And I've started to discover through all this some things that I took for granted before that I have started becoming a lot more thankful for that I hadn't really thought about before. And so this is a really good psalm to read today. So again, it's Psalm 118. Those of you who are good readers, I want you to open up your Bible and read it to you or have a family member read that to you today and be listening, listen for each and everything that psalmist is thankful for. So in that whole psalm, though, there is one verse that I know you will recognize because we've talked about it in children's church before. And it's one, Psalm 118, verse 24. It says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So today we're going to kind of talk about how we need to be thankful and the things that we've been thankful for. God has given us so much that we can be thankful for. And sometimes life feels difficult. Like right now, we can't go to school. We can't come to church and see each other. Um, we can't get out and go to our friends' houses for sleepovers. And that is definitely getting difficult. But in these times, we also need to remember to be thankful. God loves, God's love never ends, even during all of this. And at Lent, it's a really good time to reflect on that and think about that. So I hope that no matter what we say or do, that you'll remember that God loves us, even through all that is happening right now. And us giving thanks to him is a really good way to worship the Lord and let him know we're thinking of him. So today's family activity for Lent says, make a list this week of all the things you are thankful for. If you need help, here are some categories. So today, I want you to be thinking about these things that you're thankful for. I want you to think of a person you are thankful for. I want you to think of a place you are thankful for, a food you are thankful for, and a thing you are thankful for, okay? So be thinking about a person. Hmm, who could that be? A place, where are you thankful for? A food, maybe this is your favorite food. I'll find out what some of your favorite foods are. And a thing you are thankful for. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you submit those answers to me this week. I hope that you'll participate. And adults in the church, feel free to join the kids. I am going to put all of your submissions on this heart throughout the week. And I will post a picture of this heart with everybody's answers on Friday. So you have the week to think about it. Uh, maybe you'll experience something or somebody will come into your life with something uh, and really think about those things that you're thankful for. So here are the ways you can submit your answers to me. First of all, I have made a Google form which will allow you to answer online. So I will link that to the Facebook account right here. Also, I sent it to pastor so that he could add it to the email for the church. And if you just type in the answer under each question, person, place, thing, food, um, it will get sent directly to me. Or you can message me on Facebook. Feel free to do that with your list and I will add them on. Or you could reply to pastor's email and I'm sure that he'd happily forward those answers to me. So we have... Uh, five people in our household, and since we can't leave, five people answered these questions.
Maybe you want to try to guess which person in this household gave this answer. But I've got our first five to put up on our things we are thankful for when we're really focusing on Psalm 118. So this one says, I'm thankful for my mom. I wonder who that could be. My house, direct subs, and my dog. So there was a person, a place, a food, and a dog, or a thing. She picked dog. Let's see, this person said, oh, well, I wonder if you can guess who this is. This person is thankful for my wife, for the town of Norwood, for venison, and for cigar box guitars. Hmm, that's a tricky one. I wonder who that could be in this household. Let's see, this person said they were thankful for Chris. Hmm, wonder who that could be. My kitchen, banana bread, and technology. And that's kind of one of the things that for me, uh, I had kind of taken for granted uh, before, but now my job really relies on it. Um, I can't do all of the teaching that I do day to day without all of this technology. And I'm getting kind of sick of talking to myself on this screen during the day, but it's helping a lot of kids get their learning done. Two more. Thankful for Erica. I just... I'm loving reading these things they're thankful for. Home, oranges, and my tablet. See if you can guess who that is. And then the last one is, I'm thankful for my mom, my bedroom, bagels, and TV. We might want to be thankful for TV <laughs> during this time. we got to spill some of our time doing a little bit of relaxing stuff, right? So, boys and girls, I hope that... Uh, as we continue on throughout this week, that you will really focus on the things you are thankful for. I'm going to fill this up with all of your answers as they come in, and I will put this picture out on our church Facebook. Maybe pastor can email it out in an email as well, just as a reminder of how important it is to focus on what we are thankful for and really focus on Psalm 118 this week and putting our praise and our thanks and glory be to God, who is our Lord and Savior. I'm praying for all of you. I hope you have a fabulous Sunday, and I am looking forward to seeing all of the answers to your favorite person or a person you are thankful for, a place you are thankful for, a food you are thankful for, and a thing you are thankful for. So be thinking about that this week and submit your answers in any form that's easiest for you. And I will see you again soon.